made a hard push to get up there and waited the storm out in the Baton Rouge area and then pushed forward after the storm had subsided. Already in place and ready to go, search and rescue professionals from Central Florida were ready to help in hard hit Louisiana. Uh, access was certainly is uh, a giant issue for us. The roadways are sparse and also not uh, high water, so it's low land. So getting access into the areas to where it gets close to a Cameron uh, was a challenge. These are veterans of past storms, so they've seen plenty and they roll in prepared. But the truly massive storms are still noteworthy. Devastation. There's foundations that were, that's the representation of where a house stood, where the proper building codes and materials being used can withstand such damage, but floodwaters cause them damage still. Of course, a team from Central Florida is certainly used to the heat, but in Louisiana, right after a hurricane, wearing heavily protective clothing, it was brutal. Uh, that's one of our factors we had to encounter was daily heat temperatures soaring into the 115 mark. Search dogs often need a cooling bath because of the heat. This photo seems to show exactly that. Lewis says a major employer in the region made sure its people evacuated and that helped reduce the number of victims. Still, we found two victims that needed assistance. They were not heavily entrapped. They, uh, they were injured, but we were able to encounter them. We encountered over 40 other people, provided aid and assistance to them. And 200 more were provided humanitarian aid. Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. The Central Florida Search and Rescue Team is finally heading back home, anxious to be reunited with...